Hey, Becca C. Smith here, and today I am going to show you how to record, edit, and export your audiobook in Adobe Audition for ACX and or Find Away Voices or your website. <laughs> my cousin is a sound engineer and he's the one who got me started on my first audiobook. Without him, I would have been flailing. He is truly amazing. <laughs> I am by no means an expert, but I've learned a lot along the way of recording audiobooks. So I just wanted to give you a broad stroke overview of recording one from start to finish and with the settings for setup all the way to exporting. I want it to be as smooth sailing as it was for me uploading to ACX and Find Away Voices or even your website if you choose. So first things first is setup. Now I went over this in my DIY sound booth video, the link is below, but let's go over it again really quickly to get started. Number one, keep the laptop outside of your booth because the fan will go off and you won't notice it. Better safe than sorry. Two, plug the microphone cable into your preamp. Three, plug your headphones into the preamp. Four, plug your preamp into your computer. And now to start your audiobook. We're gonna open Adobe Audition. We're gonna to go to File, New, Multitrack Session. And all these settings are okay. You wanna make sure you save it where you wanna save it. Make sure that the template is at empty stereo session. Sample rate's good, bit depth's good, mix stereo. So you just name it what you want. We're gonna set up our audio hardware. So you go to Adobe Audition, Preferences, and Audio Hardware. And you're gonna want your default input and your default output to be your preamp. So these would both be Scarlett 2i2 USB, that's my preamp. Um, the reason why the output is is because I'm doing this, uh, I'm doing this tutorial and I need to be able to record <laughs> the sound. But if you're doing an audiobook, this both of these should be your preamp. And hit OK. Let's set up our track for recording. So we go to multi-track, tracks, add mono audio track. And then just to name it, all you have to do is left click in here and I'm gonna name it chapter zero. Now we wanna arm this for recording. So we hit this little R right here for recording. Now you can see that the sound levels are here, but we wanna make sure that they are to ACX and find a way voices required range. So we're going to go to window and mixer that way we can see the range we're at. And they want it to be from between minus 12 and minus 21. So this range right here, which we're totally good. But you wanna make sure that you don't clip. So yell a couple times, blah, 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 blah. Make sure that you're not clipping. So we're good. If we weren't, then you just fix the volume on your preamp to get it to where it is. But I'll scream really loud to show you what clipping looks like. Ha! See how it goes red? You don't, you don't want that. <laughs> okay, so we wanna get out of this window. So we just go to window and unclick mixer and we're back to here. Okay, now we're ready to record. Now the standard way to record and organize an audiobook is to do it as one big file, which is totally great if you wanna do it that way. I do it differently, uh, but I'll show you how to do it as one file so you have the option. It's pretty easy. You just kinda of keep on adding tracks, add mono, mono track, and then change that to chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, etc. But I, I keep it to one. And that just makes it easier for me because my first book, I did do it in one file and it got a little overwhelming. This way it makes it nice and easy. All the files for each chapter are in one file. So when I'm exporting and things like that, it's just, it makes it easier for me, but obviously do what's easiest for you. There's no wrong way, even though I'm sure people will tell you differently, <laughs> but this is the way I do it. I like doing one file, one chapter. You have to upload them to ACX and find a way voices as individual chapters anyway. So it just kind of keeps everything separated and easy for me. I'm starting with chapter zero, but just so you know, 
you need an intro, which is pretty easy. Again, I would make that a separate file, but if you were doing a multi-track, it would just be the file before chapter zero or chapter one. And basically all you would say is your book title and who it is written by and who it is narrated by. So for since I'm doing Riser for this example, I would just say Riser, narrated and written by Becca C. Smith. And that would be it. <laughs> And you also need one to two seconds before and after each chapter and no more than five. Now, I will tell you this. I have had friends that have done this that have gone closer to the four second range and they were kicked back. I've always kept mine at two seconds and I've never had a kickback. So keep that in mind. I would just do lucky number two. <laughs> And to zoom in, you left click on these little bars up here. I just want to get closer because I'll show you here. See how these are the seconds. When I hit record, as soon as I hit two, that's when I start speaking. And just before we start, just remember ahead of time to be careful to listen for mic pops, mouse clicks, excessive mouth noise. Like you don't even realize it, but every time you open up your mouth, it makes clicking noises. I'll end up doing a video to just on tips on how I avoid those things so that you can do it in the recording process as opposed to the editing process later because I can tell you from experience it's a pain <laughs> to edit all those out <laughs> okay but we're ready to go so I'm gonna hit record here now you can make a shortcut key if you want to have your record on your keyboard and that's easy you just go to edit keyboard shortcuts and just assign record to one of one of these buttons I like clicking it with my mouse I'm weird okay but you hit record to record and spacebar to stop recording all right let's get our book up because we are ready to record now I like to keep my audition on around two-thirds of the screen and then my book on one-third make sure you can read it so it's not too small <laughs> but let's do it okay I'm gonna hit record Chapter Zero, Year 2320. Okay, let me explain. My gift or curse, I'll let you decide for yourself. To put it simply is, I can raise the dead. So I just did the first couple sentences because, you know, you don't want to run out of breath. You want to keep your energy high. I usually do about one or two sentences at a time, but I hit the space bar to stop. One thing to note, thank goodness, Audition now has the function of punch and roll. My first book, I had to use an add-on by a third party because punch and roll is vital to recording an audiobook because it allows you to literally punch in at any place and record over what's there. So if you mispronounce a word, or if there's a plane going by and you didn't notice it, you can punch in, record the new word, and punch out seamlessly. Now, I recommend punching in and doing a sentence rather than a word because it's very hard to match a word exactly to the way you said a sentence before. But if, if you're good at it, go for it. But that's just my one, one bit of advice. I would do the full sentence. What's nice about it is that it does give you a second or two of what you previously recorded to get you warmed up and to continue reading. Now that we've recorded a couple of sentences, let's say I miraculously say it perfectly the first time. <laughs> to move on to the next sentence, first of all, I want to zoom out here. So I left click and pull out. That line is your recording. And then I'm going to move my cursor to the end of the sentence. And if I said that sentence the way I liked it, I will just hit record and record the next sentence. Simply is... I can raise the dead. I know, sounds cheesy, but fortunately or unfortunately, it's true. And I don't mean just people. Basically, anything that had any kind of life. Now, I ran out of breath there, <laughs> so it wasn't even a full sentence. So I stopped where I thought was a good place to stop. And then I can, again, do what we did before, move the cursor to where I stopped, and then just hit record anything that had any kind of life plants animals insects plankton anything I can bring back okay so I actually said those sentences pretty clearly so I'd probably keep those but let's say I had recorded those three sentences and then when I'm listening to it back at the end I realize I pronounced a word wrong so this is where you can use punch and roll. You can either punch in and say the correct word or like I suggested, do the whole sentence. 
Again, I recommend the sentence. So that's the quick and easy way to record. Now next is editing. I try to edit as I go to make my life easier, but it's easy to miss things. Once you've finished your chapter, listen to it and edit it at the recording station. That way, if you have to replace any audio, you're already set up to do it. But assuming you don't have to re-record anything, just listen through it. And if you hear a click or pop or some other noise you want to edit out that isn't over dialogue, you can just use the razor tool like you do with video editing. Now, there are other techniques in terms of sound editing, but this is the way I like to do it because mainly because, you know, I do a lot of video editing, so it is easier for me to, to think like this. So let's say there was a pop right here, okay? Actually, let's go in like to the middle of something. So let's say there was a pop right here in between. Okay, so I've just used the razor tool. And again, you can use hotkeys. Um, boom, boom, like right here, let's say, is the pop. So then you go to the move tool, you'd highlight by clicking on it, and you delete it. But now you'd want, you don't want to have the space, so you want to pull this together, right? All right, you've got two clips here. And if you pull it, you're going to end up creating another space, right? So the way that I do it is I make sure that I'm highlighting on the first clip and then I go up to edit, select clips to end of session, and then it highlights all of them. And then I zoom in here and I pull it up and you see I've pulled up everything. And these I do, I do like to in between clips right click and hold to do a crossfade. Um, they'll naturally do that when you pull it over, but if it isn't there, like if you're just recording and it doesn't automatically have one, I like to put them in. And so you just right click and hold to do a crossfade and then you left click and hold to make it bigger or smaller. That way it's just nice and you know, you don't hear like a little bit of the static or clicking in between scenes. So I'm, I'm a fan of crossfades. Now, in terms of using that option of clicking to the end of session, I made a shortcut key for it because I do use it so much. And again, how you do that is edit, keyboard shortcuts, then you type in what you want, clips to end of session. You see it here. See, I've already assigned Z to it. If you wanted to assign another key, you just click in the shortcut menu and then you write whatever key you want. And that's it. Okay, and then just keep doing that until you're done with the chapter. So now that you've edited your entire chapter, it's actually ready for export. Yay! Now remember, it does take a while to edit, but it is good to try to edit as you go so that it isn't a pain in the butt at the end. <laughs> I'm going to be using ACX and Find Away Voices requirements and templates for the export and pretty much for everything that you've seen here. Okay, so we're going to export. So we're going to go to the waveform menu and we are going to make sure that these are all highlighted and then we are going to go to effects and we're going to go to noise reduction restoration and then adaptive noise reduction and these settings are totally fine so we are going to hit apply so we've got that now we're going to go over to the menu up here on just click on this left click on this and we're going to go to loudness and we are going to drag all the files into here and we are going to make the peak amplitude minus three we are going to do the total rms at minus seven make sure that you are clicked on use limiting and then we are going to run it and you did you see how that happened you all undo it See how it's kind of all over the place, small, you know, like maybe I didn't speak as loudly in some areas and some areas I was a little bit louder. So once you run it, it all evens out. And that now it is ready for export. <laughs> now we're going to go back to our multi-track. We're going to go back to, I just do uh, simple editing. So we're now going back here. We're going to make sure this is all highlighted the whole chapter. And we are going to go to File, Export, Multitrack Mixdown. You can do entire session or selected clips because all the, all the clips are selected, but I do entire session. And again, these settings are all in ACX and, the, and I put the link below. So chapter zero, my location, format, MP3, audio, 
sample type 44100 hertz source channel 16 bit 44 hertz 16 bit mp3 192 kbps cbr that's the requirements perfect and we hit okay and that's it let's go to the desktop here it is chapter zero <laughs> So again, I would put this in my chapter zero file. And then at the very end, when I've done editing and I've done all my chapters, then I have each individual file ready to upload. And you're done. <laughs> you have a file ready to upload. Now, just do that for all your chapters and you're ready to go. The only non-sound related thing you need to do is make a square cover that lists the narrator and the writer of the book. If you have farmed out your cover to an art designer, they will absolutely do that for you as a part of their services. I, I really don't know a cover designer that wouldn't do an audiobook cover, <laughs> at least I hope. Anyway, uh, a couple of things to know before we wrap up, ACX and Findaway Voices want you to give them a one to five minute audio sample for the book. I always use the first five minutes of the first chapter, but you can choose whatever clip you want to draw people in. And also note that each chapter file cannot be longer than 120 minutes. I'll post a link to ACX's uh, requirements below if you want to go over anything else. But I hope this helps and good luck to you all on recording your audiobooks. Thank you so much for joining and I will see you in the next one. Bye.